Hi, welcome to Curly's Clips. I'm Curly. So today we have a special edition of Curly's Clips. I've got a, a guest coming in to help us answer the age-old question, synthetic versus down. A man of renown, the wizard of down, Mr. Randy Berniers. Come on in. Curly, good to see you, good to see you. Sounds like we got a dilemma today, huh? We do. Randy, we get lots of calls from people trying to figure out if they should choose synthetic or down for their uh, insulated garments and sleeping bags. And I'm hoping you can help us out. I'd like to just start off with, how does insulation work? Oh, Curly, it's a great place to start. Basically, insulation is just trapped air that restricts the movement of heat away from the heat source. So your sleeping bag acts almost like a thermos bottle around your body. The better the insulation, the more little pockets of dead air it traps to reduce that uh, thermal movement. Okay, so let's take down, for example. How does that work? So down clusters are made up of a lot of filaments. Okay. In one ounce of down, there's over two million filaments, and these overlap and interlock with each other to uh, loft and also to trap the air in really small little places, which provides a, uh, nature's best insulation. I have a down cluster here, Randy. What makes the best down? Well, the best down comes from large, mature birds where you get a big cluster and you get very strong filaments that will last over many, many years of use. So now I have an example of synthetic insulation. Can you explain a little bit about synthetic insulation, Randy? Sure. Synthetic tries to mimic down by creating small pockets of dead airspace also. What they do is they take polyester fibers and they're crimped in order to give them more bulk and to trap some dead air. You can see in the inside of this batting layer how the polyester fibers are crimped and all those little spaces tend to yeah. hold the air still. Not quite as still as down, so the thermal efficiency of synthetics is not as good as down, but still excellent for certain conditions. So when people are trying to decide whether to buy synthetic or down insulated garments uh, or sleeping bags, um, characteristics that th always come up are weight, compressibility, uh, comfort, longevity, uh, functionality when wet, uh, dry times, ease of cleaning. How do we um, separate these to make a better decision? So excellent questions and it's a real balancing act when you're buying your new products. For weight, down is by far the best warmth to weight insulator around. It's also extremely compressible. Uh, it feels great. Down has a, a nice ability to absorb humidity uh, and so you don't feel sweaty and clammy inside the bags. Now, and it's also got the best longevity. Uh, a down bag generally lasts people most of their lives. Now there are some conditions that uh, down may not be the most ideal. Um, down will absorb moisture and if you get your bag really wet you'll lose a lot of insulation. It'll also take a long time to dry and it's going to cost a little bit more out of your wallet for the down sleeping bags. Synthetics have advantages in that they uh, are hydrophobic, the polyester fibers are hydrophobic, they won't absorb moisture. It'll retain most of its loft when it gets wet, so great for uh, wet conditions. They're easy to wash, easy to take care of, and they won't put a big dent in your wallet. So it sounds like if I want something that's lightweight, compressible, and long-lasting, down's the choice. If I'm looking for something that's functional when wet and a great value, I should go with synthetic. Thanks a lot, Randy, for coming in. Really appreciate it. No problem, Curly. All right. Curly out.